I'm coming. <sighs> oh, shoot. Some people are so impatient. Who was that at the door, Frankie? I don't know, but whoever it was was in one heck of a hurry. Well, what's that? We'll soon find out. Oh, shoot. This is not my lucky day. First I get a parking ticket, and now I get a summons. What does summon mean? To summon is to order someone to come to you. I summon you to come here. That's an order. <laughs> this isn't funny, Chips. In law, a summons is no laughing matter. May I? <clears throat> You are hereby summoned to appear in court. But you were going to go to court anyway because of the parking ticket. Well, that's completely different. That was my idea to go to court. This is something else entirely. Someone is taking me to court. Well, who's taking you to court? My neighbor. You know, Mr. Smith, who lives next door? Oh, the man who fell down the stairs the other day? Yeah. The poor guy who broke his leg and, and walks like this? Well, how can he take you to court? He can't even walk properly. Well, that's the whole point. That's why he's taking me to court, because he broke his leg. Well, I don't get it. I mean, it's not your fault that he broke his leg. Well, he claims, he says it's true, that it is my fault. Well, how come? Because he fell down the stairs, and the stairs belong to the workshop, and the workshop belongs to me. So? So I'm responsible for those stairs. They're my responsibility. So, they're your responsibility. So what? Well, being responsible for the stairs means keeping them in good condition. And did you keep them in good condition? No, I'm afraid not. One of the steps was broken, and Mr. Smith claims that's why he fell down the stairs. And that's why he's suing me. Suing? Yes, to sue someone. To bring a lawsuit against them. To get money from them by taking them to court. And what is this Mr. Smith going to do to you in court? He's suing me for damages. Damages? Yes, he's suing me for $10,000. $10,000? But that's ridiculous just for a broken leg. I know it's ridiculous. It's way too much. Well, are you going to argue the case in court? No, I'm not going to argue it myself. It's too complicated. Then who's going to argue the case for you? My lawyer. I've hired a lawyer, an expert on law, to defend me in court. Is that where you're going now, to see your lawyer? That's right. How did you guess? Well, you're wearing a nice new suit. What is that? Your lawsuit? <laughs> That's my lawyer joke. Ha ha, very funny. No, this is no laughing matter. Oh, I'm beginning to hate everything to do with law courts. <sighs> Wish me luck. Frankie. Yes? Good luck. <laughs> Thanks, Chips. That's funny she hates law courts. I'm quite fond of them myself. I'm quite content to go to court. I would see a lawyer for the following reasons. I would see one if I was in a car accident, perhaps if I was assaulted on the street, maybe if I was robbed, depending on how large my robbery was. I would see a lawyer for business reasons. I've seen lawyers when I've been buying property, in uh, buying homes or businesses for that reason. A divorce or some people are getting lawyers now if they want to get married. <laughs> I'd go to a lawyer if I was in any kind of legal difficulty, if I was charged with a, a criminal offense, a driving offense that was of a serious nature. Now, Mr. Alexander, I understand you've been charged with a driving offense, is that right? Careless driving. And uh, is there a court date coming up? Tomorrow. 
And is tomorrow's date to set a date for trial, or is tomorrow the actual trial? I don't know. It's the first time I've gone to court. Well, if it's the first time you've been asked to come to court, then it's likely that all that's going to happen tomorrow is a date is going to be set for the actual trial of the matter. Um, the, the trial of the matter is uh, the occasion on which evidence is presented by both sides and uh, the judge will make a decision as to whether you're found guilty or whether the charge against you is dismissed. Now you have destroyed the evidence. What evidence? That brick, Exhibit A. You are accused of having thrown that brick through the store window. That brick is, was, part of the evidence. Oh, and I destroyed it? Yes. I've never seen anything like it. Don't you know right from wrong? Oh, I'm truly sorry, Your Honor. I... Oh, what can I do? I, I know. Perhaps I could hammer the brick together again. Oh, but then I'd need a hammer. Silence and call. Oh, just what I needed. I'll just borrow this little hammer and hammer the brick together again. What? You really don't know right from wrong, do you? Truly sorry, Your Honor. Enough! Uh, the damage has been done. I'll have you out for contempt of court. Content? You're quite right, Your Honor, of course. I am content in court. I'm rather fond of courts of law. Not content. Contempt with a P! Contempt with a P? Yes. Contempt is when you don't have any respect for a court of law. Oh, but Your Honor, I have lots of respect for this court of law. Truly, I do. It's too late. The damage has already been done. Oh, put your hand down. There are now three charges against you. What's a charge? To be charged with something is to be accused of doing something that is against the law. And I'm charged with doing something against the law? You? Oh. Yes, of course you are. You are charged with having broken the law. Uh, I thought you said that I'd broken a window. Now you say that I've broken the law. I'll make up your mind. Enough! To break the law is to do something that is against the law. And breaking a store window is against the law. But I didn't break the... Now you be quiet and listen to the three charges. You are charged one with breaking this window, two, with destroying the evidence, and three, with contempt of court. With a P. Ah, with a P. How do you plead, hmm? Well, I think... Guilty or not guilty, which will it be? A bit of both, Your Honor. Yes, I am guilty of destroying the evidence. That is true. And yes... I am guilty of contempt of court. That is true. But I am not guilty of breaking the window. That is not true. That is a false accusation. Can you prove that it is a false accusation? No. Ha. I thought not. So, what do you have to say in your defense? Or would you perhaps like to have a lawyer defend you? No, Your Honor. I don't need a lawyer to defend me. So, Mr. Um, Frederick Winterbottom will defend himself, will he? No. What? Who will defend you then? No one. Why not? Because my name is not Frederick Winterbottom. That is not who I am at all. That is not my identity. What? Wait, that's not your identity. What is your identity? Chips. My name is Chips. You have the wrong person. I have the wrong Are you saying that I don't know right from wrong? That is not what I said, Your Honor. I said you have the wrong person. Well, uh, but it says right here. You are mistaken. You have the wrong case. Wrong case? Well, then, what case is this, then? This is a case of mistaken identity. Oh. 